Hello everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host, Dr. Lukendra Kumar, and today I will explain uh, the concept of gene cloning. And I've already designed all those things one by one. I'll bring out all these illustrations as you've seen my as you have seen already in my many videos, and I'll try to explain the concept in a nice interactive way, hope, hoping that this this topic uh, will be clear and all the concepts that you will be able to understand. Okay. So without any delay, let's start the video and uh, let me show you what are the different steps that are involved in the process of gene cloning. If you are entering into the field of biotechnology and you want to understand gene cloning in detail, so this video is going to help you to understand the gene cloning better. I will explain all these steps one by one and I'll use these illustrations. At the, at the same time, we can also draw some of the additional information uh, in the form of illustration so that you can better understand uh, the process of gene cloning. All right, without any delay, let's start with the first step, which is uh, the gene. We all know what is a gene, at least, uh, you know, I expect that you have the, the information about what is the gene here. I'm just, you know, trying to explain uh, the gene in the form of this particular illustration. It's a, it's a stretch of the DNA molecule, which uh, which contains a specific information and uh, that information can be in the form of a particular protein protein structure it's a it's, it can be a functional rna molecule right so that's the that's a typical definition of the gene and now our objective in this case is we want to take the gene and then insert this gene into into a particular first we'll say vector right so vector selection is one of the important concept here and we'll also know what is what is a vector, uh, what is a plasmid molecule, right? So this is the gene. We'll start with the gene, right? It can be just a stretch of DNA molecule. So that is our gene. We'll just move it uh, to this particular side, right? So that's the that's the step one where we will isolate this gene. So this gene will be present inside inside a particular cell, right? Inside the particular cell it can be a microbial cell it can be it can be plant cell it can be animal cell so that particular gene will be present inside a specific uh, cell first objective is you have to isolate that particular gene from that particular cell so step one basically is the isolation of the target gene the first step is to identify and isolate the gene of interest from the genomic dna of the organism so first you have to isolate the dna and then isolate the gene using various techniques like one of the important technique is the polymerase chain reaction we will not talk, talk about the polymerase chain reaction if you want to know more about polymerase chain reaction what you have to do is just type polymerase chain reaction basic science series you will get a couple of videos watch those videos and you will understand that now suppose we have isolated the specific gene and we have that gene fragment here now we want to put that inside a particular molecule known as vector so in this case that is the plasmid molecule and what are plasmids they are the extracellular dna molecule circular dna molecule present in bacteria right and then we were able to <coughs> construct different types types of plasmids and now we are using them uh, for the um, for the uh, human cell lines also so this is the representation of the plasmid vector so first thing is first, you need to select a cloning vector. That is very, very important. A cloning vector is a DNA molecule, is a DNA molecule into which the target gene will be inserted. So this gene, what will happen, will be processed and then this plasmid or a vector will be processed and this gene will be inserted into, into this particular plasmid. This will be inserted into this particular plasmid and you will have that recombinant molecule where the plasmid will contain that additional gene right so okay let's formulate this in the form of illustration so suppose this is the gene of interest we have isolated the gene using polymerase chain reaction so let me label this this is our gene and this is the plasmid that we want to work with correct so this is the vector in this case we are calling vector is something that is taking the information and putting it into uh, another another destination in this case it could be uh, it could be bacterial cell say right so all right so this is our gene and now this will be inserted into this particular vector and we will have a recombinant plasmid molecule like this so this is our recombinant plasmid molecule and i can put it in the center it will look nice 
So as you can clearly see, the foreign gene is inserted over here. Now, how that is inserted by using by using, and you have to pay attention, by using enzymes that can cleave these two molecules. Now we can use the enzymes called restriction endonucleases that can cut. So what will happen in this case is, uh, okay, let me add few few illustrations, few shapes, right? So let's use this. Probably let's use the arrow sign. So we'll use the arrow sign, arrow sign when these two molecules they were combined together right okay so this is the arrow sign that i'm using after that i'll just copy this arrow sign okay so this is the arrow which indicates when these two things they combine together and then we have the recombinant dna molecule what happened in this case is basically uh, we have cleaved this particular plasmid like this this particular plasmid at the at the two different sites and those sites are nothing but they are the sites where endonucleases they can cut so plasmid usually have multiple cloning sites so we can cut the plasmid at specific sites and then we can also have those sites in the in this particular gene and we can cut this gene also with the same kind of and restriction endonucleases and what will happen we will have the ends that can combine together because suppose if we are uh, if we are having uh, one site uh, similar to one enzyme, another site similar to a second enzyme, so we can do double digestion. And uh, so I think uh, probably what we can do is we can have the second one uh, with a different color, right? Probably that that will look much better in this case. So I'll, I'll make this green, right? So you can imagine we can cut these uh, two DNA molecules, this is also a DNA molecule, this is also a DNA molecule, we can cut them and then what will happen in our case, we'll have ends that can that can be combined together and we'll have a recombinant DNA molecule that will have uh, sites like this. So we can fix this, right? And this is the recombinant molecule we can generate after the, the process of ligation. And we need an enzyme called ligases. After that, you can have that recombinant DNA molecule. The next step after this is, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this arrow because I don't have now patience to uh, redesign this arrow, right? So I can use this arrow and we are going to take uh, this particular uh, recombinant DNA molecule and uh, we'll, we are going to insert that into a bacterial cell. So this is, imagine this is our bacterial cell. And you know what is a bacteria, you know what are the things that are there. I'm not designing any genomic DNA material right right here in this in this cell because I just want to explain how this process will happen. So we do the process called transformation where we treat these cells and make them competent. Uh, because of that, this foreign DNA molecule can enter after performing the method of heat shock where there is a temperature difference created for inserting this DNA molecule inside the bacterial cell okay so now that is the process of transformation correct that will be the process of transformation where we will insert this plasmid inside the bacterial cell as illustrated in this picture so you can see clearly what we have done is we have now this recombinant plasmid i think probably let's use the arrow so you can see this particular plasmid entered inside the cell so simply what we will be doing is basically we'll take we'll be taking this recombinant molecule and putting the molecule inside the bacterial cell and the like this so we'll have plasmid inside the bacterial cell that process is called transformation okay so now we can see we have understood all these steps next what will happen so i think uh, i'm getting out of space so what i'll do is i'll, I'll you know i have to uh, make these things a little bit smaller so that i can have all the illustrations and you can be uh, you, sh you should be able to understand all those points better so i'm just going to move these on that side so after this as we discussed the cell uh, will have recombinant plasmid molecule inside and another thing that we will be using specific kind of cells uh, that have the ability uh, cells that have the ability not to degrade the foreign molecules. So we'll not go into the details of, of that, uh, but we have specific strains like DH5-alpha of E. coli that, that are specifically designed to 
to keep the foreign DNA molecules and uh, the DNA molecule will will not be affected by the cellular machinery okay looks better now so the first step that we have done is uh, that we have done is the isolation of the target gene we applied PCR and uh, and that that gave us the gene multiple copies of the gene it is not happening just a single copy of the plasmid or of the gene it is happening with the multiple copies of uh, uh, the vector as well as the gene so uh, if i'm saying vector that means uh, it's a plasmid so you can understand that right next step is the selection of cloning vector cloning vector is important what kind of uh, you know cell lines you're using what kind of protein you're trying to express or what kind of gene you want to clone depending upon that you need to select the vectors there are various kinds of vector i have made videos on those please watch uh, the videos on plasmid and you will you will understand what i'm what i'm talking about next is is the insertion of the target gene into the vector i've explained that process in detail i've told you what are the steps that you will be doing what are the enzymes that you'll be using after that transformation putting this recombinant vector inside the cell by the process of heat shock method of the competent cells after that what will happen these recombinant dna molecules they are going to multiply so you can see multiple copies of these recombinant dna molecule right you you can see multiple copies of these recombinant dna molecule inside the cell and and that is the next step that is going to happen you are going to grow these cells and also plasmid is going to independently divide and increase in number and that that also depend upon what kind of vector you are using you will have multiple copies of those uh, self replicating recombinant dna molecule those plasmid inside the cell right as i told you again you will have lot of cells like this lot of cells so the process of cell division will happen right over here process of cell division will cause the formation of lot of different cells so this label is for the bacterium since we are representing single bacteria in this case so that is the bacterium that we'll use and obviously we are going to use lot of lot of uh, bacteria not just single one this is just the illustration what will happen that this bacteria will acquire the plasmid and now plasmid is inside next is you will have multiple copies of the plasmid so we can say recombinant uh, molecule recombinant dna molecule plus the bacterium so that is the step we are having now you will have these cells you know keep on dividing on the on the petri plate and slowly slowly what will happen you will get lot of bacterial colonies so this is the illustration representing the bacterial colonies look at that lot of bacterial colonies will be generated because bacteria they have the tendency to divide right so you will you will see the colonies on the petri plate and and after that you can say okay the transformation was completed obviously there are few things uh, that only cells will grow which will have recombinant dna molecule because they have the selectable markers like uh, like the the genes that can degrade uh, antibiotic and only those cells will grow which will have the an antibiotic degrading enzyme in, in them that basically will tell you uh, you have the cells growing on the petri plate because what you will be doing is putting the antibiotic into the media so that is one strategy i will no, not go into the detail of that one but you have to understand uh, what we are going to do in this particular process that is important so selection of the transformed cells right not all the host cell they will take up that recombinant dna molecule so to, to identify the ones that successfully incorporated the target gene a selectable marker that is antibiotic resistant gene is often included into the vector so as i told you that gene will be there in this one if you have seen the structure of the plasmid i'm sure that you will be able to understand what i'm saying if not then please do some do some homework on that that and see what i'm talking about next is the transformed cells that are growing uh, on the media th that contains the antibiotic that is important and only the cells that carry the gene of interest and the selectable marker will survive right and then you can pick up these colonies you can grow them further you can do whatever you want to do because they are the cells that are containing the the gene of interest that is this one that is what we started with correct so i hope that this video uh, was was you know sufficient enough to give you the introduction regarding the steps of uh, gene cloning i'll come up with more videos like this which contains uh, the information in a in a illustrative way and you will be able to understand what are the different steps i will design all those uh, things in advance so that you can you can be uh, you can be you know understanding the concept in the minimum time frame
so that will that that will take care of the time uh, right where we are not going to design any any irrelevant things we will not spend time on designing things but we will spend time on understanding the things so let's summarize what we have understood we understood that we need uh, we need a gene for the gene cloning we need a vector selecting a vector is highly important then we need to construct a recombinant dna molecule and then insert that recombinant DNA molecule inside the bacteria. After that, we have to grow these cells on a specific media, and then we can have our cells containing recombinant plasmid, and then you can isolate this plasmid again and again. You can, uh, you know, if you want to again uh, purify the plasmid from those cells, you can do the same, right? And then you can start with another gene if you want to, uh, if you want to, you know, run, um, you know, collect the library of the different types of genes. So that, that can be called as the amplification of the clone gene. Anyway, so gene cloning has numerous applications in research, medicine, and biotechnology, right? It allows scientists to study the functions of individual genes. They can produce large quantity of specific proteins. So I told you that recombinant proteins can be produced by the by the gene, right? You can produce the bacterial protein into the into uh, the system, bacterial system. You can produce human proteins in some of the uh, mammalian cell lines, right? You can also investigate the genetic basis of the disease. Lot of lot of other things you can do. You can prepare the library of the genes and uh, understand their function, sequence them, and then this opens a new avenue for therapeutic development and uh, you know a lot of bio biotechnological innovations. So I hope uh, that now the topic of gene cloning is clear. All the steps that we that we understood is uh, in this particular video is also clear i'll bring uh, new topics and i hope those are going to help you understand the basic tools and techniques in the in the area of biotechnology we will meet in the next one till then take care